The following is a CT scan of the abdomen and pelvis performed with intravenous contrast. We'll start at the lung bases and scroll inferiorly. As you scroll inferiorly, we can see that there is an exophytic, predominantly solid mass arising from the upper pole of the left kidney, compatible with the renal cell neoplasm. There is an additional mass in the left kidney seen more inferiorly. However, if we observe its density value, and in fact measure its density value by putting a Hounsfield unit over this, we'll see that it measures simple fluid, somewhere between minus 20 and 20 Hounsfield units, thus indicating that it reflects a simple cyst. As we scroll through the right kidney, we can see that in the interpolar to lower pole region, there's another simple cyst. However, there are no solid masses arising from the right kidney to suggest a renal neoplasm. On these images, we can observe some of the vasculature associated with the kidneys. On this image, this is the aorta, this is the IVC. As you scroll downwards, we can start to see the left renal vein and notice how the left renal vein travels anterior to the abdominal aorta as it joins the IVC. We can also start to see both renal arteries, right side and left side, and we can follow these vessels to the kidneys. This vessel over here is the gonadal vein, which on the left almost always drains into the left renal vein. We can follow this as we scroll upwards again. We can also see the collecting systems, which join to form the renal pelvis, and subsequently the ureters as they course inferiorly to the pelvis. This is a coronal CT scan of the same case. We're going to be scrolling from posteriorly to anteriorly in this case. So as we go from posterior to the anterior, the posterior most structures, we're going to start to see the spine, some of the ribs, some of the bones, and then we'll start to see the kidneys. Once again, you can see an exophytic, predominantly solid mass arising from the upper pole of the left kidney, compatible with the renal cell neoplasm. On this image, you can see some of the left collecting systems, which will join to form the left renal pelvis. As we scroll, we can also see the left renal artery, as well as the left renal vein, which drains into the inferior vena cava.